Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know what's going to happen, right? I'm going to give you something I've been giving it for the past few weeks, and it's an important one. A big virtual hug. You know, it's really important. There is no other way to actually have any contact with you. I mean, I can communicate with you through the show, and we've been doing a lot of that, but no further contact than this big, truly from the heart, virtual hug from me. Okay, so in times of lockdown, what else are we going to do? Well, how about a device that can actually tell you how well you're sleeping. Well, you know, in lockdown, maybe that may not be your single greatest problem. Maybe your single greatest problem is that you're sleeping too much. But other than that, the quality of sleep and any respiratory problems, lung problems, other things, it will actually track. It will be able to tell you a lot more on that. Then we'll talk about to zoom or not to zoom. We did a story about this a short while back, but now we'll actually talk to the India head of Zoom and find out, have they been able to really, really take care of all the problems we've been having? Should we use Zoom or not? And what is about all the competition that's coming in? Then we'll move on to other things, including a whole slew of stuff that Facebook is talking about, that and a whole lot more on the show today. On the show, we have a new contactless piece of tech that can keep track of your sleep and vitals during the worrying COVID-19 times. We then zoom off and have a chat with the Zoom India head on all the privacy issues Zoom has been battling. There are new active noise cancellation headphones around that won't burn a big hole in your pocket. And we round up everything that Facebook has recently announced across its large suite of apps. Now let's do a deep dive into all the news and headlines coming from the world of gadgets and gizmos. And yes, in the lockdown also, there is a lot. Google takes on Zoom and announces that its video conferencing platform Meet will be available for free for everyone to use and will roll out over the next few weeks. Google Meet was initially a paid product and it allows up to 100 people to join in on a call. Meet doesn't have a time limit on calls and soon people will be able to access it from Gmail as well. ByteDance's TikTok hit 2 billion global downloads this week. India tops this list with 611 million downloads, followed by China and then USA. Around 75.5% of the total downloads have been made from the Google Play Store. The recent TikTok surge has come during the COVID-19 pandemic where people are using their mobile phones a lot more. Huami's Amazfit is known for their smartwatches and competitive prices. Now the company has taken out the Amazfit X, a smartwatch with a wraparound AMOLED screen. There are no physical buttons on the watch, but there are pressure buttons on the curved glass screen. It claims 7 days on a single charge and has 9 sports modes. It will be available to buy on the crowdfunded site Indiegogo. Let's start with our top story and this is Dozy. Get it? Doze as in Dozy. And this is the one that I spoke about right in the beginning. This is actually a device that can track your sleep. It can also track a whole lot more that may be very, very important right now. The company claims it can even take care of things like tracking your respiratory problems, how well your lungs are doing and a whole lot more. So at times like this, this could be a very, very important device. We took it through its paces or should I say we took it through its doses. COVID-19 has made us all anxious about our own health and the health of our loved ones. Well, one startup in India has come up with an innovative solution to measure your vitals without any contact. This is Dozy Health started by a team of IIT graduates. So while you doze off, this contactless monitor comes to life and can keep a tab on vitals. The startup claims 98.4% medical grade accuracy. Now those are some tall claims there, but this kind of tech sure caught our eyes in the time of coronavirus where contactless solutions are the need of the hour. So we decided to put this to test. Dozy comes with a belt and this white monitor. The thin belt goes under your mattress, however thick the mattress might be, and then you plug in the device. The belt has to be placed at the chest level of the person sleeping. Now you download the Dozy app and connect using Bluetooth. Once you wake up in the morning, Dozy will give you stats on your heartbeat, respiration rate, stress level and detailed report on sleep quality. The technology that backs this device is called Ballistocardiography 
of BCG which involves the movement of the heart and also uses vibration to track inhalation and exhalation or when we roll over or even snore. The data is converted to biomarkers to monitor the health. The app uses information like age, height, weight to determine each individual's baseline on which to measure the vitals. In case the app finds some reading out of the ordinary, it sends an alert to the white device. The app can be used to track the health of an elderly person as well, in which case the person with the primary app will receive a notification if something is wrong. We did feel the best use of such a contactless device is in hospitals where nurses can leave this on patient pets and monitor all vitals of several patients without going close. Dozi mentioned to us that this device has been deployed in a few hospitals in Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. So what's the price for a good night's sleep for your loved ones? Well, Dozi is priced at 7,500 rupees and is available to buy off their website. It does save from the hassle of smartwatches or sleep tracking apps and does seem more accurate than most. It might be a good investment to make for an elderly person in your family in these worrying COVID-19 times. To zoom or not to zoom? Look, zoom has really zoomed ahead. We've done enough stories. In fact, there are more stories on zoom than the number of people that are actually using it. Yes, it's reached something like 300 million people are now using zoom. It's easy. It's intuitive. Anybody can get into it very quickly. But with that has come a lot of controversy. So we decided we'll go to the man himself, the man who actually is India head for zoom. With 300 million daily users, Zoom has indeed become the pandemic social network. But popularity is both boon and bane. Zoom has been at the eye of a privacy storm for a while. And even though Zoom is responding to all the privacy issues people are facing, they are nowhere close to being settled. The world is holding educational classes to fitness sessions on Zoom, making Zoom bombing a known phenomenon. Many companies and governments around the world have banned Zoom. This included our own Ministry of Home Affairs that raised the red flag on the app. They have asked Indian startups to develop an alternate to Zoom for group video chat and are ready to give 1 crore rupees to the winner. We spoke to Zoom's India head and he said Zoom is in touch with the government. Yeah, well, we are talking to them in terms of uh, you know our platform, our technology, in terms of security and uh, privacy features so that they are able to take a conscious call and advise the Indian uh, people uh, accordingly. So that's the first part. As far as competition is concerned, I think uh, competition is always good. It's good in terms of it makes us stronger, it makes us robust. We will come out more, uh, you know, uh, stronger platform and uh, we would be able to serve our customers even better. Zoom claims it has stepped up security on its platform and if you are still looking at using Zoom, then make sure you have the following settings in place. If you are starting a meeting, then ensure you disable the screen sharing for everyone except for the host. Also use the password for meetings and avoid sharing it on public platforms. This will ensure that only the people you know enter these meetings. Enable the waiting room feature, the host will then have the ability to grant permission to people who want to join one by one. Once the meeting starts, the host can lock the meeting. This can be done by clicking on participants at the bottom of the Zoom window. Then in the participants pop-up, click on the button that says lock meeting. And disable the join before host feature in the settings of the app. With these kind of safeguards in place, you will be set to Zoom ahead. But since Zoom is still not end-to-end -end encrypted, we would still say be cautious. If I was to actually ask you, what's the one thing you've been doing most? all through your lockdown. A lot of people would say work, a lot of people would say TV. But I think the true answer would be music because that's something we all are just letting it run in the background because you know it is such an important integral part. You may not even be thinking too much about it but music is the one thing we are listening to most often. At least I hope all of you are. In times of lockdown, one of the best things to do, let music take over your life. And these headphones, Skull Candy Crusher, are maybe one of the best that you can actually try out. We love it when a cool indie brand tries to disrupt a space which has previously been a domain of stalwarts like Bose, Sennheiser, Sony, Jabra and more. Skull Candy has been steadily making waves with its chic, bass-centric lifestyle audio products which are not going to make you break the bank. Not until now at least. Today we have the Skull Candy Crusher ANC with us for review. 
And these are noise cancelling headphones priced high at rupees 24,999 rupees. While these are still around 10,000 rupees cheaper than options from Bose and Sennheiser, but it's still ain't cheap. Skull Candy is touting a feature called adjustable bass response with haptic vibrations, and we'll get to that in a bit. When it comes to looks, we have this red color variant with us, and it looks really cool and millennial. There is thick, extensive memory foam cushioning on the ear cups, and these cans are comfortable to wear. Though these may not be ideal for the great Indian summer heading our way, the design is functional and chic. We also like the hard shell case that houses these headphones. There are 40 mm drivers inside these cushioned cans. One of the ear cups houses some controls. You can adjust the haptic bass, power on and off, and even pair using Bluetooth. The other side has play, pause and volume controls. Put them on and it'll take you a few minutes to learn how to navigate. There is a cool hand gesture where you can hold your hand over the left ear cup outer panel for 5 seconds and it switches the ambient awareness mode on so you can let your surroundings in while enjoying immersive beats. These cans pair with the Skull Candy app and this needs some improvement since we did struggle a bit in pairing. The app is just about okay and doesn't offer much beyond the basics. We also don't like the fact that you can't control the EQ or ANC through the app. You'll have to use the hardware for this. Let's talk about performance. The noise cancellation is touted as the USB here and it outdoes our expectations for sure when it comes to noisy environments. We did experience a slight hiss when we activated the ANC in a quieter area which was a bit of a bummer, especially at this price point. On ambient mode, these cans perform pretty well and you can use the bass slider to adjust the notes to your liking. But audiophiles may find the sound slightly underwhelming, especially given the competition in the market. These headphones also come with adjustable sensory bass, Skull Candy's patented bass technology which is responsible for the experiential bass, wherein the bass response slider can be adjusted up or down, based on personal preference. This performs well and is a unique feature worth writing home about. There is a 24-hour battery life claim with rapid charge technology and this may vary depending on ANC use but even then is decent enough. All in all, the Skull Candy Crusher aims to crush the competition with its haptic base feature and active noise cancellation. But perhaps if the price was lower or the ANC a bit better, we may have been more convinced. We do like the enhanced base levels and if that's what you're after, the Skull Candy Crusher may be for you. Let's take a quick break right now on the show. We've got a lot more including stuff from Facebook and five games you can actually play with family and friends when you're in this lockdown. So every company making a lot of headlines, Facebook kind of thought they're being left out of the whole equation. So they decided we'll do a whole, I mean a whole tsunami of announcements for almost all the products they have from Instagram to Facebook to Messenger to 50 people that can come through into a Messenger room. Lots and lots of announcements by Facebook and a lot of them are really, really cool. Take a look. The time we spend indoors during lockdown might be only increasing. And Facebook with its massive suite of apps has many new updates for us to take note of. Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp and Instagram all have updates that pertain to new social media trends that have emerged. And Facebook also has some new apps up its sleeve. Here are all the new updates announced by Facebook recently. A little late to the party, Facebook is keeping up with Zoom and other video conferencing apps with Messenger. Messenger rooms will roll out soon and will be able to host up to 50 people at one go. This also means it will work even if someone doesn't have a Facebook account. There will be no time limit on calls and video calls can be started from Facebook itself and soon even from Instagram Direct or WhatsApp. There will be 360 backgrounds, mood lighting and even AR effects. Like Zoom or the house party app, one can lock a room to prevent more people from entering it. A much-awaited feature by Facebook-owned WhatsApp group video calls are finally expanding. Now with WhatsApp video, you will be able to connect with up to 8 people and the calls will be end-to-end -end encrypted. This feature has already started rolling out to iOS and Android devices. People are using live videos like never before. So Facebook has introduced new features to Facebook Live 
like adding any person you like to the video or even switching to audio only in case you have poor network. And for the new world we live in, Facebook events will have an option to mark events as online only. The Facebook gaming app is new too. You can play games instantly, showcase your live stream and even play and watch competition from one spot with a new feature called tournaments. On Instagram, you will be able to like, watch and comment on live videos through your desktop as well and you will be able to save your live videos to IGTV beyond the 24 hour limit. And you may not have to wait for the lockdown to lift for Cupid to strike. Facebook dating has introduced virtual dates on Messenger, a video chat where two people can get to know each other. But India doesn't have Facebook dating yet, so unfortunately this feature won't be here anytime soon. And now this is the one that I've been asked most about. I mean, I'm actually asked this a lot, even when I'm having a conversation with friends, family. What should we do to entertain each other, right? And games seem to be an interesting one. But what about games that all of us can play together? So here are five games that you can actually play with family and friends. We might be using video conference apps to stay in touch with friends and family, but another way is to actually play games. What better to play with friends and family who might be across India or even the world to while away time during lockdown mode. Here are some of the best online games to play right now. Ludo King Ludo King app is a fine example of how a board can be turned into a successful online game. Ludo King, which has become one of the most popular apps during the lockdown, is really simple. The game is to move four tokens from the starting point around the board to the center of the board, also known as home. The first person to do this wins the game. This game can be played across platforms Android, iOS and Windows. If you are bored of Ludo, the app allows you to play snakes and ladders, 7 up down and spin the wheel to earn coins. However, there is one downside. Ludo King has frequent long ads unless you opt for the paid version. Uno Uno, a classic card game which is fun, is now online. The gameplay is to get rid of all the cards as soon as possible. Whoever achieves that first wins the game. Uno is made difficult with special cards like skip card and reverse card. You can create a private room and invite only family and friends. Up to 4 players can play this game. It can be downloaded for free on iOS and Android. Scrabble Go Scrabble Go is one of our favorite gaming apps in the lockdown. It lets you play the traditional Scrabble online with family and friends. This app delivers an authentic crossword game experience with alphabet tiles a board and the Scrabble dictionary that won't approve of words that don't exist. The game is available with a number of modes including duels, world drop, tumbler, rush, leagues and practice mode. Duels are what we really like as it's fast paced. Monopoly Monopoly is one of the greatest board games ever made. Now there's an app so that you can enjoy playing this with others while social distancing. Make your way around the board and buy properties, collect rent and build hotels to become a landlord tycoon. Just like the popular classic Hasbro family board game. Just make sure you don't land in jail. There are multiple modes to choose from and you can create a private multiplayer game to play with your family and friends. This app does come at a cost of 350 rupees but we aren't complaining. House Party with over 10 million downloads on Android and some millions on iOS, House Party has become the trending social distancing app across the globe. While it is a video chat app, it lets you do much more. It has integrated games like Trivia, Quick Draw Dictionary, Chips and Guac, which is word association and Heads Up. You can have up to 8 people to party with at once. What we really like about House Party app is that it's fun and easy. But we dislike that only 8 people can play at a time. So roll the dice, invite your friends and let the games begin. That then is the show for this week. Do remember this is Lockdown Conditions, a lockdown special that came to you. Do write to us and tell us what you think we could do more to make sure this lockdown is full of tech for you. I'll see you next time.